in my last class we have discussed about sequences can you tell what is a sequence yes it is the orderly arrangement of numbers on a definite rule take down this keep one notes and a pen and write down whatever i give example you see for a sequence that i gave 1 4 9 16 can you tell the rules on which it depends it is n square you see this rule sequence 2 3 4 5 It is nothing but n plus one. That is the rule. Okay, students, consider this following set of sequences. The first one is one, two, three, four. What do you observe in this? Some number is commonly added to each term, except the first term. I write you since one to this one is added. One is added, then you get two. When the same one is added, you will get the next number three. And one is added to three, you get four. Here, minus thirty 
is added plus or minus it is called addition only you add minus 30 to 100 you will get 70 minus 30 to 70 you will get 40 all such groups of numbers called arithmetic progression an arithmetic progression is defined in this way an arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term except the first term. Students, now I am going to write some arithmetic progressions just to observe this. 30, 40, 50 and so on. If you observe this, here I can tell you the first term I'm going to denote it as A term A one and forty is the term second term A two and the third term as A three. So I'm going to denote each term like this. Students, you observe this one. Second example. This is the first example, but again, you see the second example. 5. Easy. I am going to add a common number, a fixed number, 5 to this. Then the second term will be 10. The third term, you will guess, you know that, 15, so on. Here, for example, I write 80. So, the difference is 5. The first term, I can call it as A5. A1 and A, both are equal, natural A. 5. The difference D. It is the common difference. Common difference. A fixed number is added to a term to get the next succeeding term. I will write it as A2 minus A1 to get that from the second term, you have to subtract the first term. For example, here, 10 minus 5, we get 5. So, I can call B as 5. That 5 is added to each term. Therefore, I can write here, the first term is A. Then D is added to the first term, A plus D. That D is added to the first term twice. That is A plus 2D. A is one term. D, D, two terms. That is called the third term. Third term is A plus 2D. This is the third term. So how can you write this? First term and 2D. Remember this. So here, see the last term, I will call it as AN, that is called the nth term, this is nothing but nth term and also I can call it as a last term, which is the last term, AD, that is called AN. So here, It is infinite because there is no end. We are one, two, three terms. Again, again, continue that. Fourth, fifth, like that. So it is infinite. It is an arithmetic progression. So it is called an infinite arithmetic progression. But here, 
there is an end. I have not continued that. So it is called a finite arithmetic progression. Then what do you mean by finite arithmetic progression and infinite arithmetic progression? Just it is displayed there. You can see that. Students, you read this. Finite arithmetic progression. If there are only a finite number of terms in an AP, then it is called finite arithmetic progression. Example 1, 2, 3, 4. Here only there are 4 terms. It is not continued. Countable number of terms. So it is finite arithmetic progression. 2, 4, 6, 8, so on. Then last number term is 42. Then it is finite arithmetic progression because there is an end here. If you see infinite arithmetic progression, if there are infinite number of terms in an AP, then it is called infinite arithmetic progression. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, continued. 5, 10, 15, 20, continued. There is no end. So, there are infinite number of terms. Infinite arithmetic progression. Students, I will show a calendar. Then I will take some horizontal line from there. Shall I take this one? 5, 12, 19, 26? Okay. Please observe. 5, 12, 19, 26. Is it not? Here, in this arithmetic progression, can you tell me the first term? Yes, correct. 5. And what is the difference? I have told already from the second term to the subtract its preceding first term. That is a2 minus a1. Remember that? Then it is 12 second term minus first term. Then the difference will be 7. Then you can observe. To get 12, 7 is added. So to get 12, 7 is added. You get, okay, to get 19, again you have to add 7, like that. So here, you can see the formula, a2 minus a1, any term, for example, if you take fourth term, then I can find a fourth term, okay, minus third term, that is 26 minus 19, nothing but 7. So it is called a common difference, a fixed number. Like that. And so I can give a formula for that. D is equal to the last term minus last but 1, n minus 1. That is the preceding term. So remember all this. When you get the last term, that is the fourth term, n minus 1 is third term. So, this is an arithmetic progression. And you can form arithmetic progression, you can form arithmetic progression when a is equal to 3, b is equal to 4, form an arithmetic progression. Form a right hand arithmetic progression called AP. So I can write, I can take this 3 and add 3 plus the difference 4. And again, you take 3 this is the third term. Remember that. That is the third term. So twice 4 and so on. So here it is first term 3, that is A. And here, 7, that is A2. And here, you got to 
2 4 the 8 plus 3 11 that is a3 then what about the nth term what about the nth term so i say that nothing but a plus because a is everywhere a a a in each term a is there plus then here n minus 1 because one term is already taken so in the natural numbers one term is reduced n minus 1 times b i will prove that next please also if i give such values a and d you can form you can write a p students i can give this example a calendar it shows arithmetic progression you take numbers in column or numbers in rows you will get arithmetic progression so i can write the arithmetic progression general form so you can write you can write like this general form of an ap i can write general form of an ap a the first term add b the common difference b then the third term i told you that you have to add 2d to a the fourth term you know that 3d to a and so on the last term is a n that is nth term this is the general form. You can give the numbers. A is 2, B is 3. You will get an A. And now, the nth term, the nth term of an AP, I can give it as AN, A plus N minus 1 times into B. I will prove and show this one. I will show you an activity for an AP. I have taken three in number, three flowers. I will consider this as A. So all these three, three flowers are A, 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 A. Now in an AP, the first term is A. D is not added. To get the second term, I have to add D. I have taken two flowers as D. A plus D. 
the third term three there are two d's two flowers two flowers so there are two d to get the fourth term a three flowers d is two 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 three d a d d d d 4d that is the fifth term so first term second term third term fourth term fifth term this is an activity here you can see yellow is 2 that is d common a fixed number all d is are fixed numbers 2 2 2 2 the number of times is differs but a is common that means in each term a is the same it will not change that example students class red class that is 2 and a plus d the first term i took as 3 that is 3 red class and then 3 plus 2 3 plus 2 this is b this is a and 3 plus twice 2 so here 2d a plus 2d like this you can see the general form like this a a plus d a plus 2d and so on in that activity so we can use the formula like this students i can say that general form of nap a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d the last term is an common difference you can find using the formula a2 minus a1 another formula is there d is equal to ap minus aq by p minus q that formula i use on some problems you can understand at the time nth term of an ap is an is equal to a plus n minus 1 d write down all this formula and learn that students are write a question you can answer that question which of the following is the numbers form an ap Which of the following list of numbers list of numbers forms an AB number A four ten sixteen twenty two so on. And the second one, one by three, five by three, nine by three, thirteen by three. So on. The third one, two, seven, eight. Ten. So here in the first one, find D. If there is a fixed number, then you can tell it is an A. Let's check it. B is equal to A two minus A one. Ten minus four. You got six. Second difference you find. A T minus A two, sixteen minus ten. Again, you got six. That is, I can call this as a A B. A fixed number is added. You can see the second one. Five by three minus one by three. 
subtraction of fractions. 3 is the LCM, then 5 minus 1, nothing but 4 by 3. Take the next term, 9 by 3, the third term, and then 5 by 3, the second term. LCM, 3, 9 minus 5, 4 by 3. You can see that. So, common fixed number is 4 by 3. This is for you. Can you tell this? Is it an AP? Is it an AP? Here. 7 minus 2 is 5. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. 8 minus 7 is 1. 10 minus 8 is 2. Then there is no error. B is common. So it is not an AP. So in your exam, if they give a set of list of numbers, you can find B and conclude that it is an AP or not. Some assignment for you. Students, some questions are there for your homework. Number one, write four, first four terms of the AP when A and D are given as follows. A is equal to 10, D is equal to 10, A is equal to minus 1, D is equal to half. You apply A, A plus D, A plus 2D, then you can get an AP. Which of the following are APs? If they form an AP, find D and write three more terms. You can continue that. First one, 2, 4, 8, 16. Second one, 0, minus 4, minus 8, minus 12. So here you find D. A2 minus A1, D. A3 minus A2, if they are equal, you can tell that an AP. If it is an AP, you can continue. For example, 4 minus 2, 2. 8 minus 4, 4. Not an AP. If it is an AP, only you can continue. Some more terms. The last one is find AN. Given A is equal to 7, D is equal to 3, N is equal to 8. This is AN is equal to AN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D formula. You apply, you try this or wait for the next class. Find A given D is equal to minus 3, N is equal to 18, AN is equal to minus 5. So try this. Students, I hope I have understood the topic. Thank you very much.